Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. We're coming to you live from broadcasting room number 1220. My name is Adam Chacon. And I'm Hayden Carter. And you're watching The Lion Report. All right, everybody, patting down the hatches. First things first, let's see the announcements. Hi, guys. I'm Heather Baker, and here's today's general announcements. Congrats to sophomores winning first quarter Spirit Week. To celebrate, sophomores will get free dress on Friday, October 9th. ASG is selling new pink out shirts in Mrs. Chenault's room, 3217, for $10. Profits go to the Rainbows of Hope Foundation. Tackle cancer and get yours today. Supplies are limited. Stop by at break slash lunch. Fall swim camp is underway. It's not too late to register. Please visit our swimming homepage to pay and register for camp. That's all for announcements today, Jay Sarah. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Heather. Don't forget, tomorrow is the blood drive. Make sure you have permission from your teachers to miss class. Hey, Adam. What's up, Hayden? Did you go to the football game? No, unfortunately I had some other business to attend to. That's okay. We got some highlights for you to see this week. Welcome to week five of the high school football season. Jay Sarah taking on St. Paul at St. Paul. The stage was set for week five, the final non-league game of the season as Jay Sarah starts their league season this Friday night up against Servite. How about this play by Avery Williams? He gets loose and he will go all the way for the touchdown. Avery does this each and every week. He will have another big play a little bit later on that we'll show you. The Lions led seven to nothing. And then back to back inside the five yard touchdowns. Touchdown runs by Charlie Mestaz. That was his first one. Here's his second one as he follows his blockers into the end zone. And the Lions led 21 to nothing. Second quarter. Now this is what I was talking about. Avery Williams on the punt return, surveying the field, bounces outside. And then all of a sudden, his blockers realize this guy's still on his feet. Check out the entourage of Lions taking Avery all the way into the end zone. That made the score 28 to nothing on the punt return. Great defense by the Lions. Nick Harris comes up and makes the play here. Robinson keeps the ball on this one as he goes in for the touchdown. And the Lions definitely were well in control of this game. How about this great defense, swarming defense by Jay Sarah. They did this all night long. Austin Falalu comes up, he makes a huge play. And then the third quarter, interception by Nathan Bowman. Another guy that seems to do this each and every week, playing center field, gets the ball and gets an extra 10 yards before he is brought down. Once again, defense played a huge part in this game. Check out this play by Michael Zabrin. As he comes up, strips the ball, goes into the end zone for the touchdown. As the Lions go on to win their fifth consecutive game, this one, 42 to nothing over St. Paul. For Rain Sports TV, I'm Paul Higgins. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. What a great game there, Lions. Don't forget that this week is a bye week and to come and support us next week. Hey, hey, did you hear about those football players who caused a ruckus with the ref? Yeah, let's go take a closer look at this story. San Antonio, Texas may face criminal charges because one tackled the referee during a football game and the other speared him with a helmet. Two defensive backs from John Jay High School hit the referee in the final moments at a 17-9 loss at Marble Falls. Video shows the referee, who was watching the play from behind the defensive line, getting leveled from behind by a first player and then getting hit by a second player. Both players were immediately ejected from the game and later suspended indefinitely from the team and from school, pending an investigation by the Northside Independent School District. The referee was, quote, very upset and wanting to press charges. Violence on high school football fields is shaping up to be one of the most major stories this season. In more recent news headlines, a teen in New Jersey took off his opponent's helmet and hit his opponent with it. The player was flagged during the game, but many are concerned that a more severe punishment should be enforced. As more of these incidents occur in the United States, many are concerned that a greater tragedy is going to occur. That was a really unacceptable thing. I can only imagine what would happen to the students if that had happened here. I know, they got what they deserved. Well, listen up Lions, don't forget, we have no school on Friday. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Well, that's all we have for you today, Jay Sarah. I'm Adam Patrick Chacon. And I am Hayden Rosario Carter. This has been The Line Report. Report. Have a great day, Jay Sarah. <laughs>